Yo, welcome back, homies. It's time to get back into some more Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons. I've said this before many, many times, but this is my first playthrough of this. And I played ages earlier, you know, a couple months ago. It was a blast, honestly. And both of these are pretty cool so far. Uh, check this out, by the way. This is like a, I guess, seasonal world map of this game. So kind of spoiler-y if you don't want to see it. Look away, I guess. But uh, presumably each area that has a season, or multiple seasons in it, you know, whatever artists who created this just, you know, use their own artistic expression and chose a certain season for each map tile. But it looks cool. Uh, but yeah, let's uh, return to Seasons. And you know, if you've been keeping up with this series so far, you'll know that I just love starting back up in the middle of a dungeon. It's like, it's almost become a meme just because of ages. Like, the first ages... No, 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 no. Even before that, even before that, whenever I, I played Link's Awakening DX... It, it started right after the first dungeon. You'll remember, if you watched all the way back then, I was like, oh yeah, uh, how do I how do I open the dungeon again, lol? And that threw it all off. <laughs> From that point forward, it was all just, it was a catastrophe. I don't know how it happened, but, like my, my inner clock, the cycle where it's like, you know, the developer's intended game loop, you finish a dungeon in X amount of time, you get a new item in this amount of time. You go to, you know, side area A, B, C, D, E, F, G. In this amount of time, that amount of time, etc. <laughs> and I just, I threw the cycle off completely. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, shit. Alright. I'm gonna try and kind of do this blindly, but I do have the guide pulled up as I usually try to. 999 rupees, you say. Nice. Yeah, I've been just kind of waiting to get back into this. Kind of just been waiting to get back into SMT as well, so we're going to be doing that tonight as well. But, I, I don't know, I've been having a, a craving for the Zelda fix. And the 2D games are just very solid. I've said this a million times as well, but, you know, the things that are often repeated might be quite true. Oh, fuck. Not my my heart. When I have 999 rupees. I mean, just imagine the scenario where Link has to return to an inn or something to heal up. He's got decades worth of money stored up. Especially if he's just sitting up here... Oh, man. If he's sitting up here camping with the sword beams, he's got like, you know, 300 ham steaks in his inventory. He's got a, a rupee dungeon... He can, a rupee dungeon room he can access. I mean... Fuck, he said. I just, I laughed there because I immediately thought of uh, Breath of the Wild. So I've said this before, but you know, not everybody knows it. Not everybody got into it this way. I, just me, casual Bren, of course. What, what the fuck? Oh, sorry, I wasn't looking for a second. Wanted to move the recording software a little bit. It, <laughs> there goes my sword beam. Fuck. Well, I was reminded of, uh, I want to say Elden Ring, because that just came out, but I honestly... I've only seen the beta footage. I kind of just want to buy it myself at this point, and... Stream it, maybe, if, it, if it'll even run? <laughs> yeah, but I'm reminded of Breath of the Wild, because... That reminded me of Dark Souls, and yeah, it's to mean, Oh, the game's like Dark Souls, oh, well, play... Play the game is Dark Souls... Dark Souls game. You better play it. Hey. Oh, what genre is it? A dark soul. A dark soul. Bit over. <laughs> I just feel comfy with the rock's feather at all times. I I can't explain it. It's the freedom of being able to jump through the air. Okay. <laughs> no, that one. That one was my fault that time. Fuck, bro, bro. Calm your shit, Onichan. This is this. Why is it every game except like uh, the 3D games, the BMO suck ass? I get. You know what? No, no. I've heard this opinion before. I'm just gonna kill myself at this point. I don't know why I thought. <laughs> I 
I reached the point where I was sustaining damage so frequently that I thought leaving the room would kill me. Nice. Wow. Brain damage. Brain damage moment. Live on stream. Brain eating peanut butter fudge. Live on stream. Remind of the Breath of the Wild. What was my conclusion there that I was trying to reach, though? Yeah, whatever. Beamos kind of suck. That was that was the end point there, but... Yeah, I guess in Wind Waker, it would be kind of an outlier exception. If you wanted to say, like, Beamos suck in any particular 3D Zelda, it would definitely be that one. But it's like... Uh, it's like philosophically they suck, you know? Especially the ones that just fire in one particular direction and do nothing else. Like, come on. Get some variety to your dumb ass. Oh, 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 yeah? Right whenever I mention it, you upgrade your own AI, huh? Okay, no, that, that was my fault, I think. What? <laughs> this dungeon's wilding out, what? Or I guess you could say it's causing me to wild out, because... Damn, this dungeon do be wild enough. All this just because I wanted sword beams again. Seriously. I made the joke earlier. You know, the, the dungeon game loop? Mm-mm. Yeah, I just threw off my own mojo, basically, because, uh... Ugh, I need to throw a weapon. No, I'll casually get hearts back anyway. Really, it's just about getting that map progress and finding out where everything is. You gave me fucking bombs? First of all, bro. First of all, Oni-chan. <laughs> I only have 30 bombs. Do I really need that many? I guess I, I, I was constrained to only 10 back in ages, and it never changed, I don't think. Nice. The Legend of 999 Rupees, level 2. I wouldn't be surprised if I go back and make a compilation video of this. And speaking of that, I mentioned in YouTube night I'm gonna... I mentioned in the last YouTube night session, I'm gonna make the entire Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero into a movie once I'm done dubbing it. As stupid as the idea of dubbing every single character in a Japanese anime. <laughs> like, obviously I'm not even trying with Teya and Miho. It's it's fun to voice act Yami Yugi. That's pretty much why I have so much fun with it. It's also just I, I primarily enjoyed, you know, season zero in and of itself. Yeah, just keep fucking doing that, huh? Yeah. Piss off. Wait, he's not even firing at me. Oh no! Here I thought I had two hundred IQ, but it's really zero. Or I guess we could say two if you really want to. I'M ON THE FUCKING TRACK TEAM! Weren't we just take, talking about the Bob Sled Team? Wow, well, how- I can't fucking talk. I can't fucking talk, Chad. Goddamn. <laughs> Alright. I mean, this was the only way to go, right? Oh, yeah, you just had to slip it in right at the end, huh? Fuckface. What was even the problem with this? Oh, you have to hit the button to move forward. I got insanely lucky then. I got hit by the keys right at the end the first time I completed this. And yet still I made it. I don't know what the fuck. Yeah, I'm just gonna go faster this time. It's not cheating if I pause to think, right? <laughs> no, it really isn't, but it is helpful. Yeah! Look at that. It just keeps giving me bombs. I wonder if I'm meant to search for something? Like Southern Wall, I guess? Fuck off. Yeah, there's one right here. I mean, I, I guess it could be entirely possible that any time I've missed a bombable wall, I just merely couldn't see its... sprite? But I really fucking doubt it, bro. I don't know, I've said this before, but I'm using a... Pico projector instead of my TV because it saves power. I'm running on battery power. My laptop. I'm using my Minecraft laptop to stream this to you. It's one gigabyte of RAM Chromebook. 
I got it from school? <laughs> oh, come on. Anything that tosses arrows in 2D Zelda? Unanimous, unanim, unanimously savage. What was unlocked? Just the room? Come on. Don't tell me this is like in Link's Awakening. You have to kill things in a certain order or something crazy. Oh, that infuriated me. Ah, oh, the primal rage of being like four years old. <laughs> Just in general. No, tr trying to figure that stupid ass puzzle in the first dungeon. No, was it? Is that the first or like second dungeon that they do that to you? God damn, had to do it to him. How do I do this without a shield? Can I burn you fuckers? No? Well... I get. Hmm... I was gonna say survival of the fittest, but does this work? Ah, uh, just listen to that nice sound design. Yeah, it does nothing. I'm not even gonna attempt to make that stupid joke. Wait, level one? Hold on. Level one rocks feather. When when did it say level one? Has it always said level one? Fuck off! Ugh. Just trying to yump on the trampoline, you know? Bounce on the bed a bit. Alright, that was an obvious Joel joke, but you know what? We'll let it slide. He's not gonna DMCA me, I promise. Why am I up here? This is an entirely new floor, but I can't access anything? <laughs> I literally have half a heart. Oh no. Oh no. Welcome back to Elden Ring. What's the purpose? Oh, please no! I, I, you know what? Maybe if this were Tass, I, <laughs> I could have survived that. No way. Okay, it looks like there might be a bombable wall again. Hmm. I don't quite remember what's over here. I really should not just even bother at all with rupees on the ground, dude. It's, it's infuriating how much I don't need money at this moment in time. I mean, fuck. Fuck, I was lying. Give me donations, please. <laughs> oh, yeah? Level 2 sword. Oh, come on. Right as I... It's like you think about getting sword beams? No. Punishment game. Yami no game. Something up here that makes me get this access tunnel or something, huh? What? Did I just miss this? Okay, okay. Huh? No, I've been over here. What's the trick to this one, huh? You just give me a chest full of bombs and tell me to check everywhere? What is this, Binding of Isaac? Uh-uh. Time travelers studied Edmund McMillan, and they actually made Zelda. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that scenario. I'd be so pissed off, but also, uh, uh, all right. If Edmund McMillan was a time traveler, dude, you know what? Fuck it. We might as well make. Uh, is it John Blow? Is that his name? Might as well make the dude who made Fez a time traveler at that point. <laughs> Programs angrily and then complains about it in a whole movie. And then doesn't stop complaining about it for the next, like, five, six years? That guy. <laughs> it, can you just not take damage in this dungeon? Or in this room, rather? Oh my god! No! You can't do this. I paid you. Ah, uh, that's right. We were outsourcing. That's right. That's right. The last time I was playing this game, we were outsourcing the stream to a different country. Like, why the fuck is this here? I thought about this the other night. Is there anything behind this? Eh, you don't say. And like, what the fuck is the purpose of this? What is this dungeon's mechanic, dude? You got, you got mechanics? Wait, 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 wait. That wouldn't work, what? No, no. What's the blast radius of this? Work with it. <laughs> I just let it detonate on my brain. My brain. 
Ah, my brain is detonating. That's what we call learning, but here we don't do that. Brain detonation acquired. <laughs> this is what you're given bombs for in this dungeon. To just ceaselessly detonate them in a hole. Fuck yeah. Love my vocabulary tonight. Okay, that's definitely not it, and I've wasted what, what was... I started with 22 bombs, I think? <sighs> I'm not even gonna make that joke, I just thought. It's like a mixture of uh, Desire to Know More intensifies, but it's Sweats and Bomb. And then I was gonna take it a step further, but it, the, the further was stupid as fuck. Alright. Time to pull up the guide, because I have no idea what I'm doing. I, hey, I hope y'all are enjoying so far tonight, and... You know, it's just... A little bit of Zelda. A little bit of Zelda, and then we're gonna do some Shin Megami Tensei. I've unlocked basically everything on this floor, so... What could I be missing? I mean, it is, uh... Wait, 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 wait. I have the dungeon map and compass. Yeah, what? How do you figure that? Excuse me, I kind of have the sniffles right now. I'm not sure why. I guess I'm just cold? I don't have a cold. So yeah, I mistakenly used the small key on a door I shouldn't have. I think, didn't I end up getting the other key or something? Or I still need a key, but... No, no, no. Wait. Huh. I think I need to go back upstairs. Whatever I'm doing down here is... No. It's completely fucking stupid. Let's get out of here. I think. Yeah, just don't mind the sniffling, okay? <laughs> I need, like, hydration. And I think... I I don't know. Am I tired? What, what causes the sniffles, ever? Oh, uh, that's right. I just completely ignored the turnstile in this dungeon. Been going in circles, dying to snakes and shit. Indeed, this does go upstairs, but I forgot... I've totally forgotten that there's stuff else elsewhere in this dungeon. It's a five-floor dungeon. Imagine saying that five times fast. Holy fuck. Nice! Dead over a hole. Go die over a hole. You wouldn't hear that one ever. I was gonna say often, but yeah, I don't think you would ever hear that. Uh, what, what circumstance would someone tell you that? Hmm. Hypothetical scenario. You're digging a hole. No, that sounds like a, a turn of phrase, actually. Or is it a term of phrase? It's one of those isms that I don't know, but... I know the, the meaning behind it is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> uh, I'm... I've, the more I stream, the more I realize sometimes I'm just this person that goes on tangents that interlink into other tangents further, infinitely, until finally we hit an endpoint, tangent, dead end, basically. <laughs> That's what I'm doing in this dungeon, too, I'm just hitting dead ends. <sighs> no, this right, I had to cycle this. I don't know. I don't even know what my end point was there, dude. I'm just talking to you guys. Again, like I said, I hope y'all are enjoying. <laughs> Wait, what do you even spend rupees on in this game? I guess I have to get the members card, but I'm like... I feel like I'm a solid item behind on the trading quest. Let me see really quick. I have the Cuckoo decks. The complete Cuckoo fact book. Ah, yes. Didn't I need something? Ah, uh, I'm not planting those... What's this? Find double orcha? <laughs> okay. So... Okay, yeah, I'm just getting double hearts. That's the only thing I need anyway. Beast! Drop double hearts! I like the way the game describes that. Beasts. I have the level 2 sword, and these things still take 3 hits. Holy fuck. And they gave me nothing. I don't think bombing that wall is a solution, it's probably just one of those silly dungeon-go-fuck-yourself mechanics. So, where am I going then? What, what am I really doing here? Did I need to do this? I already did this, but did it- did I- <laughs> I don't know if I need to be doing any of this. 
I think I should just, like, double backtrack. Kind of sounded, the way I said that, it sounded like I said devil backtrack. Yeah. We need to summon them. See that, Chad? There's six eye statues in, in the first room here. Huh, I wonder what that could mean. We need to summon them. <laughs> I just love that I went zero to a hundred with that dumbass side joke there. We need to summon them. I really don't know why I'm going to the side over there. I can just pull this immediately. I feel like every other streamer who's done this game probably did the exact same thing. Uh, that's weird. Welcome to Meta Stream Zone, where I think about other streamers while I'm streaming. Wait, no, that's right. I'm not even trying to go this way. Thanks for the beams, though, lol. It was, uh, I need to go back east, right? That was the last progress point I had. Which fucking way does it want to go, then? <laughs> I, I feel like sometimes when I'm talking, I, I just sound Canadian. I don't know. Which fucking way does it want to go, then? I'm never gonna spend these goddamn rupees. Well, I guess this helps me get back to where I was going, but is that truly what I wanted to do? What is- what was unlocked in here? Okay. I, I, I don't even know why I'm, I wanted to go to that side of the dungeon, because I have both map and compass. Clearly I don't need anything with that. If we're going by loot dungeon mechanic... Thanks for the hearts back. Oh! Damn, I just edumacated myself real fucking fast. You see that shit? My brain went 0 to 60 instead of 0 to 100. But yeah, I fucking popped off there. It's... Hearts dropped by enemies. Refuel two of your hearts. They put two more in your gas tank. I thought it was just like, it has the potential to drop two at once. Ah, uh, I'm fucking stupid. I'm going stupid saying three. I've been trying to get the Duke voice out, so I've been doing en non-stop endless Duke Nukem. I'm going the wrong way again, fuck. I just need to loop this, but I think I've broken it by accident. So I was making poop jokes. I was like, I'm going Pooper Saiyan. I'm going Pooper Saiyan 2. Pooper Saiyan Poo. I'm going Pooper Saiyan P. It was a lot funnier the other day, but you know what? I've said it so much I can't even laugh at it anymore. Even though I just kind of did there. What the fuck was due north of here? Have I even been up here? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. Hmm. Brand eating peanut butter fudge live on stream. Honestly, admittedly, I don't think I've really played much Duke Nukem. Ah, uh, well, I've been somewhere over here. Did this yield anything is the real question. And what's what's the purpose of this? I remember this. Why is this here? Oh, it's just like silly fucking LOL welcome back to Pokemon Crystal. We gotta go slay an Ampharos that we just healed. Anyway. Big meta joke. I've been doing this thing mentally. I guess you could call it like a mentat if you want to get that deep with it, but it's more like, you know, you, you play games with yourself or, you know, if you get bored, you just think that about this, that, or the other thing. So, uh, what, oh, fuck. What would I call it? I, I can't even do anything in this room, can I? Mm. The fact that I called it a mentat has now made me lose it. Like, I, I don't remember the topic I was even going to talk about. Fuck. Uh, it, it, it's one of those brain games. Hmm. What is the express purpose of this? Is, is this even meant to be here? Did this unlock the door or something? What? It doesn't need to be here. What? I'll remember the brain game, just give me a second, but, uh... Wait, what's the purpose of this? Was there loot at the end of this, and then... Am I just meant to test it? I, I don't have a shield, so I'm gonna get irreparably clusterfucked by these big old turtles. I'm going pooper saying over this. 
Uh, like, recollecting my train of thought, I was talking about Duke Nukem voice, getting the Duke out. Duke, Duke, Duke. Pooper Saiyan. And... Brendan eating peanut butter fudge live on stream. I guess I gotta go to that, huh? Hmm. Nope. Can't remember exactly what it was, but I'll get back to you. <laughs> it just happens, dude. I, I joke about it, but it's like I feel like I have Alzheimer's sometimes. I don't know. I, I, I'm scatterbrained, too, so... I guess that makes perfect sense. Makes perfect sense to go pooper saying. <sighs> How the fuck do you solve this? Do I just save and quit out? I really don't want to bother with inverting the turnstile. <laughs> it just seems like a huge problem. I'm pretty sure that route that I started with is the correct way to go, because that was where the trampoline was. But do I need to slay everything in there? Because if that's the case, I need to go buy a new shield or go get the level 2 shield, which I think that's like strictly linked game. You gotta be somewhere in ages with like a unique password or some crazy shit. I don't even remember what the fuck the... the it just seems like one of those, you know? That's why I'm thinking of it like that. But anything peanut butter fudge live on stream. <laughs> so that stuck with me in, in the, like, getting rid of Duke voice and, you know, solidifying practicing voice acting by being literally stupid as fuck and just saying words over and over again. I was fixated on that one so much because... But anything peanut butter fudge live on stream. It sounds like a Duke with the last M in stream. It sounds like he himself is en enjoying some peanut butter fudge himself. <laughs> so that's why I like the sound of it so much. It sounds like he's eating food at the end of his words. I don't know. Okay, this bring me up here. I'm on the outside of it. There's like a, a just a bunch of fucking armor axe dudes that want to fuck me up. For no reason other than that's their sole purpose. Did you see that? I just hit that arrow out of the air. Holy fuck. His red arrow didn't affect me. Goddamn. <laughs> it's gonna drive me nuts. This stupid little fucking mind game that I was talking about. It, it sounds like fucking crazy whenever I talk about it like that now. I, I feel like Germa whenever I'm describing this. Like, your perspective and my perspective of what I'm talking about are c completely different. I'm talking about, like, punch buggy level shit. Uh, banana car. And you're like, oh my god, Bren's going fucking... He's going pooper saiyan 4, he's gone insane. <laughs> uh, I, okay, I, I, I... Holy fuck. Okay, I guess I have to go west, is what I'm trying to say, and... Like, almost evolved into Scottish accent. I'm tripping on my tongue now. So there's this. There's clearly, like, a key here or something. Uh, typically, the map won't show keys that drop from the ceiling. Only show treasure chests for some reason. Uh, sorry, the compass, but you get, you get what I mean. The map overall with the compass displayed overlaying it. This is the only place I gotta go. There's gotta be some other way to kill these things. And it looked like I couldn't do anything up here, just discover that I can go up here at some point. Maybe I can bomb the fuckers? Maybe I can bong them? Seemed really like they just wanted to be tossed, ar tossed around a bit, though. Ah, uh, Vegeta. I gotta practice my pooper saiyan training. Why is Goku now Duke Nukem? Yeah, that's true, though. All, all the fake you shit was pretty funny, so I guess that's why I've been fixated on it so much, too. Can I just kill these with this? I, I'm curious, that's it. I don't even care if it works. At this point, I just want to see if it functions. No? When I say functions like that, now I feel like I'm a calculator. We're back to the calculator boy SCP. It was a long hiatus, it felt like, even though it was a month and a half. 
That's why it took forever for me to upload the last video, which was, in fact, an SCP Foundation wiki video. I wanted to space it out a little bit so there's, like, something, but also it's being lazy as fuck. <clears throat> yeah, I think I have to get the level 2 shield, which is just insane to me. Where even was this? I know it's listed in this part of the guide somewhere. Huh. It's right before the sword. Mystic Noble Sword. Oh, I just have to, like, uh, go to Sabrosia with some fucking crazy ass ore strats. Request for the final jewel. God damn it! I need the level 1 shield to upgrade! Okay, there's one at the shop. I, I think that's the only way to flip these guys over, but I'll test it really quick. Uh, I, I believe I tried the magnet earlier and that did nothing. So, uh, like, what more could I do? I have bombs. Ooh! Gale seeds, that's right. Maybe I can warp them out of here? Although I think the mystery seed also has that effect. Oh, he got the fuck out of here real quick! Get out of here! So does it persist and I just come back from the other side and kill those fuckers? Oh yeah, fuck yeah. <laughs> that, that was kind of odd. No, they come back. Unless. Oh, whoa. Well, that's weird. I, I'm kind of convinced I don't need the shield now then. But what is the strategy here? What's a solution? Hmm. Okay, back to the dungeon part of the guide, then, I suppose. Level 2 Noble Sword. I'm playing fucking mind games with you, Chad. That's right, I'm going Pooper Saiyan 5. Go Pooper Saiyan God. Hmm. Okay, the compass. Ascending to the second floor, getting whatever that is. Wait, what is that? Feed the spiked beetles to get them out of the way and push the trampoline over into the... Wow, I'm brain dead. You know what, they don't call me brain then for nothing. Because I'm fucking brain dead. Yeah, brain dead streamer moment. Br brain dead brand eating peanut butter fudge on stream. So it ain't this, I gotta go back the over west. Thankfully, I'm in the right area for this. Uh, hopefully I don't die. I'm not gonna save state this, I promise you that. Defeat the f spike the beetle, as uh, the guide says, so I'm just gonna fucking nuclear detonate them the fuck out of here. See ya. It <laughs> just teleported his ass. Bye. I love that it just tosses them out of here, too. Gives them the slightest bit of animation, that's it. See ya. Go up. That's what I have to do here, too. I'm going Super Saiyan Poo. Pooper Saiyan Poo. <laughs> Gohan. It's time for you to de defeat Cell. Go Super Saiyan Poo. Go Pooper Saiyan Poo. Goku has to teach his kid how to shed. The episode. I mean, to be fair, a lot of Dragon Ball Z, at least in the Boo Saga, is just... The, the Poo Saga is Goku powering up and it sounds like he's shitting, so... Dragon Ball P. I need to stop. <laughs> Streamer! This is an intervention! You're being too fucking stupid! What is this? Dungeon item? Boomerang! The magical boomerang! Oh! You can control its flight path, you say? You don't say! Now I've got a fucking government drone! Yeah! Get fu- What? This thing destroys shit? I can nuke Armos with this? You're fucking with me, bro! What? And there's a fairy just hanging out in here? Get fucked to death! God damn! Get absolutely Alaskan thunderfucked. Well, that was remarkably satisfying. 
Now I know exactly how to solve that puzzle on the bottom floor. You know what Zelda do be doing that to you all the time? Hey, here's a thing that you can't do. You're gonna... I... That's, that's what it was! God damn it, that's what it was. Okay, so I was saying like a mentat. It's like a mind game that I play. It's a fun little mind game whenever I'm bored. What's the word of the day? That's what it was! And I was like, Oh, uh, uh, Jerma's crazy moment! Bren's crazy moment! To, to, like, steal a streamer's bit. Oh, what the fuck is he talking about? Oh, he's talking about crazy shit! Oh, he's playing mind games with himself when he's bored? <laughs> <laughs> so, that, that's what it was. It was the word of the day. That's what the fucking thing was that I was trying to say for fucking 90 minutes. Oh my god. And then the word I was just about to say was gonna be the word of the day, but now, because I've mentally collided so many fucking chains of tangential... Tangential. That now, I... I... I, I the, the chain has never been broken. Not once. Not in a thousand years. I fucking broke the chain, bro. I fucking broke the chain. So now I'm gonna sit here and fixate on that. <laughs> oh yeah, Vegeta! I'm going pooper, saying God. Please just fucking delete yourself. Oh my God, I don't even know why I'm in this room. Oh, that's right. This room doesn't even go where I need to fucking go. Does this one? Where was this? No. Ah. Oh. Wow, I feel- I feel remarkably relieved after that. It's like I took a nice long piss. Holy fuck. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe it, it just- I feel relieved. Fuck yeah. Well, it's, uh, remarkably useful, too, that this boomerang does so much fucking solid-ass damage. Like, fuck off. Where am I going, though? How did I get back up there? Uh, for his- how well I'm defusing the bomb of this dungeon, it is confusing me, it, it just slightly, it's kind of maze-like. Uh, that's what it was. This is the foil to the, uh, turnstile. And for some reason, this one doesn't hurt you, but the one that, like, the boss that I had to fight that uses this does. Yeah, I just hear a million fucking sirens in the background, they fun finally come for me, guys, I'm sorry. This is gonna be my last dream. <laughs> I went too far in the Pooper Saiyan line. I became the legendary Pooper Saiyan. Heard enough. <laughs> no fucking Pooper Saiyan joke. Now, it's now time for Brendy eating peanut butter fudge on stream. So, was there anything I could do over here? With this boomerang? I'm kind of horribly terrified to even go this way again, so never mind. Just the idea of seeing any environment obstacle that just smashes you with damage. Like this fucking thing, for example. So... No. No. I'm gonna do it again, fuck it. God damn it. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna save and quit. Not save and continue, but it was nice of me to do that, too. Any dungeon where save warping is meta can just instantly fuck off, but this one, it's, uh, it's okay. It, it just, again, if I feel the need to do it, then I really shouldn't have to. Give me a warp point. So I want to go east. Data east. Okay, and it's immediately set to East, good. What- you know what, Data East is one of those companies that just made a bunch of shit post games, I think. Oh, am I right in remembering it like that, or am I completely wrong? Is this unfounded claims? I just seem to remember Data East being one of those big shit post companies that makes, like, hamster. And it's just, like... The same piece of software that 40 other people have modified. 
There, it's no different other than like one sprite. And it's on a cartridge of 30,000 games, but it's really a uh, 300 games copy pasted 706 times. If you know, you know. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> you know, the Famiclone console, basically. That concept. I really should just be using a Pegasus seed here, but. Man, keys are always getting in the way, dude. I don't know what's going on. There must be, like, some major emergency or something, because I just hear a shitload of sirens. Somebody had a heart attack. El Light Yagami is str strucken again? Stricken? Is that chicken? Is that chicken you're eating there? Is that chicken? Why do I still persist in collecting rupees? Holy fuck. What is wrong with me? Okay, no, it was this way, but it was north of this, right? Or is this room eerily similar? No, it was this way. North and west. Holy fuck. I, I genuinely don't know what's going on out there, dude. It's, it's finally the apocalypse. Goto has summoned his demons. I must now... Uh, get in, loser. It's time to go demon recruiting. You know, that whole bit. Bitstreamer! Yeah! Why does this... Wait, what? Am I just not touching this right? Okay, I'm not touching it right. Gotta touch it real quick and go. One of these days I'll play that old Game Boy Castlevania game. Yeah, I was thinking about this earlier, it's kind of getting close to us finishing this game. And also, pretty soon, uh, if anything, likely the next time I stream it, gonna be finishing Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke, finally. Uh, I mean, there's no fucking way I'm losing to Ash slash Red with a nearly level 80 Mewtwo. <laughs> That's gonna be level 90 by the time I get to him, basically. I got two level 40s under my belt, too, on top of X amount of times I can still Super Rod before I get to the Elite Four the second time and then finally do fight. Uh, I don't know. Before you fight Red, I think everything in Mount Silver gets up to, like, level 56? Maybe level 60? So at that point, Super Rod is completely useless. Oh, you don't say I'm back in this fucking room again? Like, the complete boner that I am? Hey, look, guys, it's boner. Where do I remember that from? It was, like, some Redditor or something? Maybe it's, like, uh, some shitty dumbass 90s movie where the dude's nickname is boner, and they just call him boner, and he, he accepts it. Ah, yes, my name is boner now. Boner streamer. Text 999 rupees to receive... Streamer donation boner pick. <laughs> uh. It sounds way funnier in my head. That's why I have to sigh in ang not even anxiety and like fucking defeat right at the end because I'm like, wow, that was kind of a shitty joke, lol. Where is this thing? I'm looking for the, the one off little fucking rinky dink button. Not this button. What did this button do? Is it this way? Was it due north? I don't fucking remember. Sword beam, lol. Is it this? No. It had nothing to do with that. I would vastly prefer if any turtle room was, uh... So... Was it this? Was it this? Guys, was it this? I don't know. Oh, okay, fuck. Well, good thing I can just go back and reset this like this, but, uh... Mmm... Wait, 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 how does this work again? Can I just exit this room? Or do I have to save warp again? I was really just doing it out of convenience last time. Did I really just say convenience that way? Convenience? Okay, it's just push up. Dude, push up. Wait, where the fuck was this? Exactly. Was it this far left quadrant? 
There's no fucking way, bro. Uh... It, 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 no, that... That was a treasure chest, right? That was literally just a stupid little dinky-ass treasure chest, right? What is... what? Okay, it's connected over there. Wh I'm gonna barf, dude. Earlier... So, I don't really drink soda so much anymore. I've been trying to drink a lot of sugar-free stuff, so I've mentioned this before, like, uh... The white monster energy cans. I'll have a lot of Arizonas from time to time. So actually, tonight I'm drinking Arizona. It's a mixture of both the Arnold Palmer diet iced tea and also the uh, diet ginseng. So yeah, just anything. I've, I've been trying to drink a lot less sugar. But um, what, what was the end conclusion there? The fact that I finally got to this map tile after 500 fucking years? How do I control this? Wait, what? What? Huh? Are you kidding me? Do I have to do some rinky-dink wacky bullshit? Oh, it's it's very particular about how it works, I see. Wait, what? <laughs> I, I don't even know what I was talking about. This is hurting my brain that hard? I... It's like, uh, you know how people say, if you have depression, it, 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 like, get help? Because too much depression causes literal brain damage? <laughs> this puzzle is giving me literal brain damage! <laughs> no, I think I know how to do it. I have to ricochet it off the other wall and just let it pass me. Can you do that in this game, or... Oh no, it, it locks on you. Okay. What? D don't tell me- Boner! Hey, hey, Boner! Don't tell me- Wait, 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 wait. Can you control the ricochet? Uh, hey, Boner, don't don't tell me you're missing the level 2 boomerang puzzle, you fucking Boner. Uh-oh. Yeah, th I just had, like, a time traveler flash-forward moment. Where, like, you know- I don't know what time travel show I might think of, but like, uh... Uh... Th there's one, it's like... Uh... What the fuck was it called? Like, uh... It was like Traveler 2067 or something. Anyway. It it's like, uh, the Minotaur's power! I had a, prof a prophetic vision of the future. But it was like the future past, right? You know, the X-Men Days of Future Past joke? Anyway, I, I had like a prophetic vision of a different world, world line timeline. Where I was, you know, like eight years old. I actually had this game on my Game Boy Color. Unlike the truth, which is I, I, I never had this back in the day. So I, I never experienced it back then. And this par parallel world line timeline. I sat here trying to figure out this goddamn puzzle for like 16 hours. Just doing the same shit over and over again. Holy fuck. It, one of those like brain overclock moments where you go, wow, bruh, my brain thinks too hard sometimes. I literally just did that there. I had a brain time travel flash forward moment. What the fuck? So I don't know if I'm actually supposed to do this like this. Or, or what, but I, I was on game FAQs at the library at, you know, 15 years old. In the, in that parallel universe there, dude. It, you know, it, it went deep for a second, so I don't know. We might still be sitting here for a good 16 hours. Yeah, welcome to my first 12-hour challenge stream. <laughs> Holy fuck. Are we still streaming? <laughs> I didn't disconnect it, I didn't know, no, we're still, we're still live! Upload speed's great, actually. Holy fuck. <laughs> Boner streamer. I don't know why I just immediately went back to that, but... Yeah, I'm a fucking boner, dude. I, I think I'm hitting the exact sub-pixel, like, pixel perfect, hitting the edge there. So, there's some degree of control here, but I don't know if I have it. Do I just... Do you instantly press it, or is it like a one-time thing? 
Is the only amount of control, like, uh, very arc-like? Hold on. It's pork-like. No, it, it really does not... Oh, wait, 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 wait. I totally forgot this, and I'm glad... See? 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 <laughs> see? <laughs> see what I mean? See what happens when you fucking, like, maximum overclock the, the CPU in your brain, and you need to... Uh, okay, after this stream, I'm gonna go apply more thermal paste to my... I'm gonna fucking surgical incision my head and apply more thermal paste to my mental brain CPU after this one. Because... Again, like I said, there there was some extant universe out there where I was just for dozens of hours. How do I know how am I doing this? How, how do I do this? I'm like in high school at this point. There's so much time has passed. I'm playing this game on my GBASP at this point. I fucking plug it into my my GameCube Game Boy Advance Game Boy player, and I'm still fucking sitting here. 32, 64, 128 hours later. I'm like fucking 21 at this point in this parallel universe. Oh, you just hold down the A button and that lets you control it. No, I swear. <laughs> I swear. <laughs> Joke over, bit over, okay? Bit over. <laughs> uh, I swear. In that split second, I really genuinely did just, like, blindly remember. Like, oh, maybe I should hold down A instead of just pressing it. And then, as I remembered that, like, as just, you know, functional game knowledge, then I was like, oh, yeah! I did way, like, years ago watch Vine Sauce play Ages and Seasons and really don't remember any of it. Except for the really important shit like this, I guess. Whoo! Thanks, Vine Sauce. I, I don't watch your content anymore, honestly. I'm gonna be totally frank with you, I don't watch Vine Sauce anymore. I'm just not into him anymore, but I am a huge fan of Varg Skeletor Joel, and I, I'm a huge Vine Sauce supporter, so, uh, hey, thanks, Vinny, for that one. Holy fuck. I. D I <laughs> Somewhere out there. Even in a completely similar parallel universe, not even a, a, a seated, totally different one. A very similar parallel universe out there. This same Bren was just sitting there trying to figure out how to use the fucking level 2 of Boomerang. And he like, uh, I don't know, jumped out the window uh, live on stream. He ate peanut butter fudge live on stream. Okay, what was the purpose of that? What did I unlock by doing this? Did I just doom myself? I'm gonna start doing E1 M1 theme right as I said that, like LOL Doom joke. But then I realized I don't know the Doom first level one music theme that well. Can you stop fucking me? Ugh! Oh, colossally gigafucked by arrows repeatedly. Makes me feel like I'm playing that one game that I've exclusively seen played by Tomato whenever I got uh, my first COVID vaccination, I think. What the fuck is that called? Oh! It's a, like, Indiana Jones random dungeoneering game. I'm sure some of you know what I'm talking about. What is the purpose of this? Fall down, I guess? I'll come back up here. Oh. What? You don't say, there's a trampoline here, huh? Hmm... <laughs> You're not gonna up-chuck up after that quick buck. Suckin' fuck, are ya? Chuckle fuck? Uh. <laughs> it's like, I... Uh, sometimes... Being a human being with a brain is like having a game shark with cheat codes enabled at all times, you know? You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> it's fucking weird. It's fucking weird how the brain works. The mind, you know, whatever. Whatever you want to say about it. So how the fuck did I get up there? 
Cause it's been 15 centuries. I'm going pooper saying at this point. I don't know. It was like far left, right? Go left! Go right! Push cart! Give me the fucking ball! Put the ball in the hole! Alright. Destroy snake. I told you guys about the snake story. About the snake that kept biting me. The dream. Snake dream story. Snake. It looks like we're in a dream. Nah. <sighs> I guess Brent's gonna have to eat peanut butter fudge live on stream. Ah uh, man, all this Duke Nukem has caused me to forget my solid snake. What the fuck? What have I done to myself? I I've bricked my brain. Can somebody please send me custom firmware to repair my brain? Thank you. Please and thank you. Remember to say your P's and Q's. What's up with this floor, dude? This is, looks like a RuneScape dungeon. I'm gonna go ice burst mummies to get my ancient staff on my ultimate Iron Man. <laughs> That's what this looks like. Yeah, this looks like the rebuild on the ultimate Iron Man. I just roll up, ice burst, whip, walk away, flick melee if I need to, watch out for the cracks and the traps. So I need to re-unlock this, right? Oh, come on. Come on, that's so unfair. Yeah, I'm gonna sustain da damage trying to get that. You know what, it was a net gain, though. What in the living fuck is over to the east? Did I even go that way? Did I just fucking straight up die before I went over there? Oh, no. Hmm. I seem to remember seeing a treasure chest. Did I just not... I, I guess I turned around immediately. Yeah, that's what it was. This dungeon is quite big. Hmm. Reminds me a lot of some late game Zelda dungeons, that's for sure. But the design and layout is quite unique. I don't know, as a Zelda enthusiast, you notice some quirky dungeons, I guess. So I'm assuming I fall down here from some other room. Who knows how the fuck I'm supposed to get up there. Unless I can magnetize this. That would be absolutely bonkers, but I guess I could try it. That wouldn't make sense, though. I usually push it. <sighs> push it. Make sure you're pushing. I like this because, uh, at, at least with the progress I've made, uh, it genuinely feels like that point in some of these 2D Zelda games where you get that differentiation in main weaponry. So... It's like I either choose the safety of being able to dodge with the rock's feather, or I choose offensive defense with the uh, boomerang. Which, in this case, the level 2 boomerang seems to kill a lot of shit. Usually it just freezes stuff. Or, you know, a boomerang will freeze. Shit. TM period. Microsoft copyright. I don't know why copyright Microsoft specifically, but okay. So what do I hit this with? A mystery seed to get a fairy or something? No? Can't I kill this? I don't know, I'm just taking out my aggression on random shit. What? Hmm. I'm in maximum confusion now. What do? That's probably what I'm gonna do the next time I play members on my ultimate. Which will be streamed on this channel, most likely. If you like RuneScape content, look forward to it. I don't know, though. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of just feeling eh about RuneScape, both playing it and streaming it. So, I don't know, man. But yeah, I need to get at least the Master Wand or get my Ancient Staff back. Because Slayer is basically fucking impossibly slow without it. I mean... Burst tasks are nuts. Especially on my ultimate. I just do nothing but 
toss out an ice burst after getting a one stack on six or nine enemies? Then whip, whip out the Dragon Halberd spec. It's fucking awesome. The XP stacks are great. What is this? What in the fuck am I looking at? See, that I was able to go on such a tangential runescape rant because I have literally no idea what I'm looking at. My mind couldn't comprehend what is right in front of me, so I just, like, went internally and just started monologuing to you guys. You sly dog, you caught me monologuing! Oh, there's a button in the corner. I see. Wow. What? Snack? Snack! Uh, snacky like anime, too! Police Nuts poster Otaku! Pee my pants! I'm gonna pee my pants, Snake, for anime! Ugh, Otacon. I don't even like Police Nuts. What?! You don't say. You don't fucking say. What? Ex ex excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? Excuse me? What? 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 What was the purpose of it? I just went into the cleaver for no reason. I, I was in the blender. I was in the blender there. Blender moment. What is the point? What? <laughs> okay. The streamer very confused. Well, I'm much further in the dungeon now, so I could probably determine what I need to do. I don't know. I don't know about that one, bro. Ah, uh, that's right. There's a... Trampolina. Did I fall down here and die or something? <laughs> die over a hole. Wait, 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 you guys can fuck off. Why is a trampoline in a corner where I can't, like, do anything with it? Can I pull this thing? Fuck off. I certainly should be able to pull this, yes? What? Why? Huh? I, I guess? Okay. Well, I totally forgot about this area. Did I just die here? I genuinely can't recall. Welcome back to Brent's Alzheimer content. Mm. Today I'm gonna forget to take my pills, but um, I, I think uh, Charlene put it in the applesauce, and uh, well, the fridge is disconnected, so I think the applesauce went bad. Um, I looked at the expiration date today, and uh, I mean it's open, but it says August 2019, so I didn't even think I should be eating that shit, but. Now, what was I talking about? Is that you? Is that you, man and man? Uh, fucking... I gotta practice more. I... Like I've said before, when I was younger, I really very much so wanted to be a professional voice actor. Nowadays, it's just, it's fun to play around with my voice. And of course, I love streaming. Um, but... <laughs> The moment I discovered, uh, uh, hold on, let me get it, let me get it. Is that you? No, 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 that's not it. Is that uh, Mary Bell? Is that you? Uh, so, I had it the other day. If if you were there for it, you'll remember it. But is that you, Mary Bell? No, I'm doing like super old man voice, which ain't quite it. I'm, I'm confusing myself. <laughs> It's very weird. Again, we're going back in the Bren's mind again. Well, I'm fucked. I'm instantly fucking dead to this. There's no way I survive. How would you even do this part? <laughs> Tetris! Oh! <laughs> oh, that's horrifying. I just got Star Wars trash compactor. Wow, that's scary. As someone who would really not, not, who would like to really, who really would like to not be crushed to death. That's horrifying. 
What in the fuck tangent was I on? What was I talking about before all this? I don't know. At this point, I'm just trying to solve this dungeon. I had a feeling it would be a big, long, challenging one. That's what she called me in bed, and I was like, God damn. <laughs> and I had a feeling we would solve this dungeon and I'd, you know, wander around for 30 minutes. At this point, it feels like I'm uh, gonna spend an extra 20 minutes on the boss. You know, we're gonna solve it. I'm gonna be in the middle of starting playing Shin Megami Tensei, and we'll still be fighting the boss. You know what I'm saying? Oddly enough, Keys seem to give a lot of hearts. It's either that or like a green rupee. Which, at this point, <laughs> who cares? Who fucking cares? Just remain. Just remain calm. Fuck! <laughs> I was able to pop off the Pegasus seed at the last second, but it, it, I wasn't able to like keyframe the jump, unfortunately. Animation, keyframe, whatever. Whatever you want to call it. There we go. Frame buffer? I don't know. I'm not a computer. Oh, that's what I was going to do. So, uh, before we ended YouTube night the other night... For those of you who uh, are starved for conclusions, you can't live your life without a conclusion to everything. You need something to be solved at the end of the day. It's always a means to an end. If I keep going on tangents, I'm going to forget what I'm even talking about for the joke. Uh, at the end of YouTube night, I was like, what, do, what am I trying to remember for this last video? Uh, I was trying to play... Hey kid, I'm a computer! Stop all the downloading! That's what I wanted to play right at the end, and I just... I blanked. As I always do, I blanked out. I blanked out. All my Pokemon fainted. I couldn't go Super Saiyan P. Wait, what's it? What's it? Why, why am I here? <laughs> Getting real existential with this one. Can I please fucking move the trampoline? Oh, you guys suck. Oh, fuck. Oh. You gonna up chuck after that quick sucking fuck, you chuckle fuck? Paid a quick buck for it. Ah, damn. I'm gonna go Super Saiyan P after this. Cyclical. Cyclical streamer. Infinite joke acquired. Alright, there we go, there we go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, before the turtles come back! <laughs> I'll, I'll never forget, uh, so you know the saying, it's turtles all the way down? I said that to my friend once. Uh, and he had a habit of... He has a bank account, but he would put some of his money in a turtle statue. One time I said it's turtles all the way down to him, and he was like, fuck off with that. Ever since then, I'm like, should I exercise caution saying that phrase from here on out? Did I, what, what did I do? Did I, like, you know, approach his money and that's what it was? He swiftly pawed at me like a cat? No, mine. It's mine you're fucking with. I don't know. <laughs> Just always fondly remember that now. Please. Let me fucking murder you. Run directly into my blade, you fuck. I'll run you asunder. For my name is Chad, the Alaskan Thunderfuck. Did I die up here and that's what it was? I, I'm i always assuming I'm dead, and that's why I didn't solve a certain portion of the dungeon. Look at that sick-ass dodge. Link just didn't even fucking look. Cool guys don't look at explosions level of dodge. Let's fucking dodge infinity. Okay, yeah, this is the item. Fuck was I talking about? No, it doesn't matter at this point. Again, cyclical streamer. I'm going in fucking circles. Oh, that. yep, yep, yep. It, it truly was I died here, but I remember now, yeah. I. It was... <laughs> it was one of those moments where it was so shocking to my system, I was like, I, got, I just got crushed to death. Uh, alright. Beep, boop, boop, boop. 
It is now safe to turn off your computer. I'm gonna repress this memory. Peter doo doo. Ah, uh, that's an old one. Not a lot of you will remember that one. Now safe to turn off your computer. So how the fuck did I get up there then? Is it east or west? Which one is it for this? Ah, uh, this is fucking frustrating, dude. This one... This dungeon is... Hey. Pick your poison. Pick a path. Choose a direction. Choose your own adventure. Except, not really. It's it's very linear, and it makes you feel like you're going multiple directions at once. But you are, you are, you just, uh... I'm fucking stupid. I'm going stupid, saying. When you get into the zen state with this game, and of course only when you have sword on B, lol, Sometimes when you whip the sword out, it's like, bam, automatic. It's like a switchblade in your pocket. You're ready to defend yourself with it, you know what I'm saying? It's just there to carve wood. You, you make clogs in your spare time with it. But if you need to defend yourself, you're about to pull it out. You're gonna fucking whip that motherfucker out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, God. <laughs> I'm using up all my special ammo on these fuckers. I guess to be fair, I'm not gonna be warping around if I'm stuck in a dungeon. What? Oh, there it is. Like, where the fuck is this silly little item? I, it's really essential, though, that I do this. Now, was it this? Or am I going crazy and I've gone... Have I gone in a complete loop? Like, the thing I just did was this? It's so hard to remember because this dungeon is making me go in circles. Therefore, my memory of this dungeon is going in circles, you know what I'm saying? Concentric circle streamer! Now we're going real fucking deep. Fuck yeah! Yeah, I did just do this, okay. Yeah, real concentric vibes. I was thinking about that the other day, like, thinking of, uh, speaking of mind games. Not thinking of mind games, but speaking of mind games. I was like, what's my favorite shape? I, 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 I... I haven't really, like, conceived of this before. And, I guess, I guess I've thought about it a little bit, but not really too much. I have a favorite color or two, or three or four. You know, a tier list of colors I like. Same with Pokemon, except, uh, multiply that by 30. But shapes, it's like, I haven't really thought of it much. So I gave it some thought, and I'm like, well, I had this old... Black triangle necklace. It was lined with fake gold. And it had a gold chain, which was also fake. I mean, it was cheesy as fuck, but I loved it. And I wear it with... Uh, man, this was back in the Bren swag days. I hate to say it. I hate to do it to you, but it was back in the Bren swag days. When all my fashion was just swag clothing. But, uh... Yeah, I had this fake ass... Triangle, I called it the obsidian triangle, but you know, it, it looked kind of obsidian, but really it was just some black fake plastic looking ass shit. Anyway, so if I had to pick a favorite shape for, like, let's do this in an FAQ format, okay? Um, if I have options and I can pick a specific shape, I'm picking Concentric Circle. I just think it's so goddamn badass. And... I hate to be like, that guy, LOL! Naruto Shippuden is so cool! But I didn't rediscover Shippuden until... What was it? Early 2021? I told this story before, but I randomly got drunk one night. Off of like a four pack of, uh... Hurricane or something. <laughs> Hurricane 16 ounces. Some shit like that. And I decided, oh man! It was right during the Great Ninja War arc, the fourth Great Ninja War arc, that I stopped watching Naruto Shippuden when I was a teenager. Maybe I should like go back and check it out. So while getting drunk one night, I had pff, maybe two tall boys in my system or something. I watched, uh, 
the first five episodes. And dude, I'm gonna be honest with you. I used to be able to get fucking smashed off of a handle of vodka, no problem. And I would still be fucking- I'd stand up and fucking play cards or something, you know? Nowadays, I can't handle my alcohol at all. It's just, I don't drink that often. I could probably get back to that point, but anyway. The conclusion here is, uh... This is in the- the Bren days... A after Swag Bren, let's say that, as- that much, but uh... It, to be fair, too, Swag Bren was that same Bren brain. That same Bren who could drink, you know, a, half a handle of vodka to himself or something. It was always at a party, though, never alone. Anyway. Uh, so, this stage of Bren in question... Uh, maybe I had three tall boys at this point. I, I said 16 ounces, they might have been tall boys. Uh, but they're definitely like hurricanes or something, you know, high alcohol content, bad taste. <laughs> very, very Pilsner, Lager, whatever the fuck. IPA. I'm going the wrong way again, fuck yeah. So which way was it to get back up here? You know what, it's uh, the far western corner, isn't it? And I was like puzzled on how to get back up there, and that actually was a doorway that I made. Yeah, I had like two or three tall boys. I watched Shippuden episodes one through five, I think. And that'll always stick with me too, like kind of tangential to this tangent conversation in general anyway. <laughs> uh, the first episode, previewing what's to come at like episode 50 basically when Naruto, Sasuke, Sai, and Sakura all meet up, finally. When they're like invading Orochimaru's dungeon in episode one. That's always gonna stick with me, because that's just some fucking solid animation, some solid, I guess, foreboding, you could say. It's just good all around, but, uh, ever, ever since I rediscovered the Renegon stuff, I've thought concentric circles are really cool. Um, also in Fantasy Star Online Episode 2, in the, like, fucking VR hub. <laughs> There's a uh, nice concentric animated concentric circles. So concentric circles animated within concentric circles. It's fucking crazy looking. I'm sure at least on Twitch some of you have seen it at some point, but that was uh, when I was trying to stream Fantasy Star and I still need to figure that out a bit. So th those VODs are since deleted by now. Anyway. Yeah, long, long, long story just to get to that point. But yeah, it, definitely for specific shapes, I'm concentric circle boy all the way. And I've said this before. I'm thinking of uh, I, I write a, I so I've written a novella. I'm writing a, another novel. I think it's gonna be just in some spare time. And then I'm thinking of like side projects as well for writing and stuff like that. I've also mentioned this in the past, I'm going to do a comic. So I don't know if I want to adapt some of the similar... Uh, you know, take the universes that I've built, or start with new ones, or, you know, vice versa, or whatever. But, um... Yeah. So I think whenever it gets time to start making that comic, I might even stream it, I don't know, but... Yeah, anyway. I think I really want that to be a big mechanic. Not just people's eyes having concentric circles, kind of like the Renegon, but way more pronounced is what I'm thinking. Um, but also just sort of doing that with the background environment and stuff? I don't know. I don't want to talk about it too much because I've got so many ideas for it that it's like, oh, I'm going to execute on them and, like, you know, nobody, either nobody's going to fucking remember me talking about it, or, you know, 5,000 years down the line, someone's gonna be like, Hey, remember this? And I'm gonna be like, What the fuck? <laughs> I guess, by all means, go for it, then. I don't know, I guess... I have a lot of inspirations, dude. A lot of inspirations. I think... The biggest inspiration for me to make this comic in question... 
the primary one I'm thinking of, if I ever do any side projects of that, too, who knows, but, uh, the primary inspiration is Gunner Krieg Court. Go check it out. It's a webcomic. And I, I say inspiration, I mean to say inspiration for creating a comic. So just raw, oh, this project, this project that I like has inspired me to create my own project. I mean, yeah, maybe I'll take some inspirations from it, but that, that is 110% not the conclusion I'm getting at here. It's more so, I, I really like to, aside from liking Gunner Creek Court a lot, um, I, I just love the execution, I love how the author presents it on their website, and I like uh, their release schedule. They don't stress about it, they just fucking do it. Whenever they want to, they add new panels, and they go back and edit panels as they see fit, and they do this, that, and the other thing, and they have these set-up storylines and projects and whatnot, but they execute on it on their own time. And that's kind of what I'm thinking of whenever I'm going to do this eventual comic project. Probably webcomic or... I don't think I'd ever publish it, it'd probably just be free, bro. Anything I want to make money on, uh, specifically, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make money on it. <laughs> and you're gonna know about it that way, you know? I guess, you know, if it's, if it starts off free, then, with, as with anything, if it starts off free and it gets sold in a format that isn't, you know, then it, so be it. But that's, that's the way it is with anything. Hey! It, Buy my DVDs! <laughs> but run stream DVDs! In case you don't have internet at home, buy my Blu-ray disc com compilation set! Of me just playing fucking video games and shitting into a microphone! Talking about fucking poo poo pee pee caca, duke nukem, dude nudem for anal bullshit! Welcome. Welcome to the poop song. Okay, well luckily this drops down exactly on a treasure chest. Which gives me that small key I need. Oh, and I guess that's how you access that again. Okay. The Whoever designed this dungeon didn't want you to have to backtrack too much. Thanks. Finally, some real progress. Finally, so finally some decent fucking food. So, oh. So, speaking of, like, meta on the voice acting front. Because we've uh, discovered a new character, Dunschliner. And I was doing Thunderlord and shit. Whatever else. Uh, oh, I can't remember his first name, but you'll hear him some one of these days. It, all of these characters I come up with that I voice act, by the way, will probably be in The Sims at some point. <laughs> you know, just like ba with the ba da bang da bang except he doesn't have his own voice. He just has my voice. Uh... There's a sequel to Dunch Liner. He, he's just some guy that sounds kind of like him. He's got more emphasis on the Scott accent, I think. I can't quite remember his tonal, you know, proclivities or whatever the fuck you want to call it. I don't even think that's the right word. Proclivities? Kennedy's, Kennedy's. No, I think proclivities is like a sexual thing, right? <laughs> I don't fucking know. I think I brick the game somehow here, so... Hold up. I think it was just controlled disconnection moment, so give me a just a hot second. Yeah, nothing's working on that. Just just give me a second here. You could see Link's dank face in the meantime. What the fuck just happened? Menacing Link jet Link that JPEG. I was gonna say dot link peg <laughs> like it's its own fucking image format Link's, Link from Zelda is so popular he is now a thing you click on the internet hopefully this unfucks it huh wait 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 what why is this broken? Huh? I entered into a mid-boss dungeon segment 
and the game just shit its pants. What? Huh? Uh, I thought I had a rewind button, but I guess not. Mm. Don't I? Rewind. Oh, it's... Uh, okay, let me see if I can rewind this really quick. Hmm. Just, just give me a really quick second here. Tilde? Is it shift to Tilda? No? This is the true mid-boss of this dungeon. It freezes your games. You can't fucking play. What? <laughs> um... I'm not quite sure where I saved, but I think it, it... It might be in my best interest just to, like, reboot? I don't know what the fuck happened here. Huh? Hold on, let me... Just try fiddling with my controls really quick. I think that's what happened here. And usually when you enter into a boss, uh, mid-boss arena... Okay, yeah. I, it was just a control issue. <laughs> uh, did, we were talking about Fantasy Star earlier. Enjoy that, uh... Is it Dark One? Yeah, Dark One. When you finally get to the fourth dungeon... God damn, dude. I'm just really surprised it took me so many years to discover Fantasy Star, dude. At least for the GameCube, or... Was it also on Dreamcast or something, and PC? Alright. <laughs> huh? No way! There's no way you could ever find my... Uh, whatever. You got brains, but how about brawn? Come on! I guess that's the perfect time to save state, huh? I got brains, but I do I've got do I got brawn? What? Is it really? Are we just gonna battle to the death? I have no fucking issue with that. Well, having sword beams would have been nice. Huh? What does this guy want from me? Ouch! Pesky kid, take this! Take what? Ice cream sandwich? You got some of those? Eh? Homing blasts? Wow. So terrifying. You know I can like basically fucking dodge roll into your ass, right? Holy that's it, I'm serious! Oh no, he's going like f 14 frames per second in this 30 frames per second game. Oh no, my tiny human pea brain. Oh no, my alternate universe 16 year old high schooler pea brain. No, honestly, even if it was me from that era, like, sitting in fucking study hall playing this, trying to figure out how to use the goddamn level 2 boomerang, I guarantee you, it would be the exact same consciousness. Nothing would have changed. I'd, I'd give up on playing this, I'd be like, ah, hey, boomerang, work. quit out of the game right now, and then I'd just go back to watching Code Geass R2 on my iPod video. Swear to God, bro. It, it's same consciousness. You could probably get, like, a fucking, uh, quantum mind time traveler to figure this shit out. And he, he'd be like, ah, Naruhodo Desuyone. He's right. I don't know why, why I'm, like, speaking Japanese with Duke Nukem's voice. <laughs> ah, Naruhodo Desuyone. Watashi wa Duke Nukem Desuka. Uh, Watashi wa Duke Nukem Dasune Dasuka. I don't actually know Japanese. I'm sorry if I'm being offensive. I'm just an idiot talking on the internet while playing dumb children's video game. Don't mind me. Me toss sword beam at you, fuckhead! Wait, can I flawless perfect this? If I just toss beam, can I perfect? Believe that shit! I'm fucking stupid! Is that you, Mary Bear? I'm fucking. It's been 50 fucking years, I'm stupid! There you go. There, there's Mary Bell voice. I, I told you you'd hear him at some point. Is that you, Mary Bell? I'm still not quite there. It, it, you know, it's probably something uh, I've been talking a lot today already. My voice probably just doesn't have the deepness for Mary Bell today. I'm literally perfecting this boss right now. What the fuck is going on? 
<laughs> what? I'm, I'm just auto slashing. N not really, I'm tapping the button, but I may as well be. What the fuck? <laughs> Do I require brains for this? Or is this all brawn boss? Brawn the chieftain. Look at this! Look at this! Fucking flawless perfect streamer! You you know Legend of Bren the perfect waifu Ah, there it goes. Fine, goodbye. What? Are you done? Oh, bye. I imposter. Says says he back. Impossible. Not once but twice. Baron Unox. I'm sorry. Goodbye. Well, we killed the minion to both Varen and Onox. Impressive. I wow. Really? Really? There's still more of this dungeon, holy fuck. What? Bro. This dungeon's fucking giga huge. Monka giga. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the same voice I used for that guy in ages. We did see him at some point. I feel like... I'm being told this is chronologically the second game in the series right now. But whatever. Whatever. The devs do whatever the fuck they want. <laughs> I already have the boss key, I do whatever the fuck I want as well. Maybe we will have some time to wander around on the overworld after this. Just as I desired. What? Just a fucking switch? Okay. Well, we're climbing the tower, I guess. Literally. What? Staircase? Nothing. Huh? Just to confirm, I don't have the cane of Paki in this game, right? Or the cane of Samaria? No. I have the Rod of Seasons. What the fuck? Why is there two buttons? I guess... Oh, you know what it is? One of them fails you and summons snakes, and I just got it right the first time. That's right. Just go right to win. That's right. That's fucking right. What's the right answer? It's right. Ah, oh, right. It's right. Let me guess, you can use the magnet to utterly decimate these f fuckle chucks? <laughs> I was going to say chuckle fucks, but my brain said fuckle chucks and I accepted it. I accepted the call. Will you accept these charges? Fuck yeah, I will. Fuck yeah. Brandy anything peanut butter fudge live on stream, fuck yeah. Honestly, I could right now, but I'd have to open up another package of it. I finished one off last night. While well, watching an anime. Brand watch an anime on stream, fuck yeah. Well, this is an interesting little puzzle. Does it want me to turn all three of them red? Because that is not fucking hard, dude. Wow, look at that winner winner chicken dinner. It was so fucking hard, bro. Oh my god. Wow. Wow, I can't solve this puzzle. What am I three years old? LOL. Oh my god. No, I, 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 no, I, 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 I'm not lying. I can totally see it. Even if I owned this game growing up, I would have still been this same sarcastic dumbass. I don't know how to put it into the right words, but nothing would change. J somehow this game is linked to my timeline. Hey, what's up, Zelda boy? Welcome, you're just popping in right as I finally defuse the bomb of this dungeon. Holy shit, ancient ruins makes no sense. And at the same time, it's been quite the experience. Porps one dudes? I can't quite read that too well, but nice Umbreon emote. Hey, welcome, welcome. Glad to see you popping in, dude. I know you like Zelda. Glad to see you and enjoying some Zelda with me, dude. We're uh, getting kind of close tonight, but... I think after this, just right after the boss, I'm going to be doing some wandering in the overworld, and then we're going to go straight to Shin Megami Tensei. But dude, I, I, like I was saying earlier, I was in the sweet spot. I dropped off last time playing this, right at the beginning of this dungeon, pretty much, where I just... I was so confused and frustrated, I was like, fuck this. And then I came back and I was like, god damn, it's time to figure this puzzle out. 
So what, I just have to move trampoline over here, lol? Wow, that's so hard. Yes! Yeah, Zelda stream time. Fuck yeah. Duke Nukem playing Zelda on stream. Fuck yeah. What is this puzzle? So I'm assuming this is going to stay locked if I fall back down here. I don't know. Elden Ring just came out. Yeah, dude. Uh, it's like, do I buy it? Do I put money into more important things? Because I did just get a home recently, so... It's like, I have priorities on my spending. I gotta buy solar panels for my house's battery. <laughs> like, I kinda want a new phone. Did I ever finish the Dark Souls 1 randomizer? Unfortunately, I had to clear out hard drive space. So at some point, I'm probably just gonna come back with a new account. A new profile. Rando that, and then just bum rush the DLC. If I ever go back to it, but... Dude, the ending to that was so crazy and unexpected that I kind of was just like half and half. I was like, I could come back to this and just solely do the DLC or just say, fuck it, I'm done. That's why the VOD for the very last Dark Souls 1 randomizer so far was very weird. Like fucking any percent Nuzlocke speed run. Because <laughs> I fucking, I died and it just death warped me straight to Gwyn. I passed like five bosses I was supposed to do. Probably overspending on groceries or something. No, it's really just a lot of spending it on my house at the moment. So the last big purchase was the house battery. Because like I said, I'm trying to go solar. How the fuck do I get to this? Trying to go solar, but also, uh... It would be nice to be able to passively charge it. So, I mean, I don't have to have a solar power generator. I could do something else, like, uh, e even use propane generation or something. Or, fuck it, like, use a gas generator, but... Stairs, that's how? Yeah, I'm just not quite sure where those stairs connect. I guess I do gotta go back down, because, uh... Doesn't seem like any of those tiles move. Oh. Oh. Smooth brain streamer moment. Holy shit. <laughs> I was seeing the stairs right here, and I had seen it at the bottom down here. But I had, had such a fucking idiot moment that I was like, no, that's not it. That couldn't possibly hit it. <laughs> Bomb some walls, do some Zelda 1 shit. Never mind, you're an idiot. <laughs> hey, at least you, you have the nuts to call me out, you know? Alright, this is going to be the seventh essence of seasons. Or the sixth. Why, why did I think it was the seventh? Please don't tell me I need the fucking level 2 shield for this. The one item I didn't get this whole time. You know what? I was given a shitload of bombs. This is probably Bomb Dodongo zone. Everything in this room is like, oh, it goes towards the center of the room, lol. So I probably gotta make the plant eat bomb, lol. No? <laughs> I can't wait to bomb some Dodongos. It made me throw it. He made me do it! Okay, this is immensely confusing, but that does not seem to be the answer. How about Magic Boomerang, then? Oh, it doesn't like Boomerang. Well, you know what? This is how it goes in these games. I take some damage trying to figure out a boss, and then I fuck it up massively. And then I really actually fuck it up. Like, I, I beat the shit out of it, then. You gotta freeze it and then hit it, or...? Hmm. The Boomerang does damage. But only when the mouth is open, I see, I see. Yeah, I take some damage figuring it out, and then I either die and come back, and save state right at the boss entrance door, or I finish it with one and a half hearts remaining or some crazy shit. Don't even get me started with the fucking Minish Cap Ice Boss. The Ice Octorok. God, I fucking hated that thing. That thing sucked. I keep forgetting I can control this, too. This bad boy is so fast! 
The fact that I don't even need to hit it with my sword, I mean, goddamn. Eating peanut butter live on stream. Eating peanut butter fudge. This is a peanut butter fudge moment. <laughs> well, welcome back to Peanut Butter Fudge Gaming. Your number one source for Fortnite Call of Duty Warzone uh, Splitgate content. I stream for 48 hours per month. But it's it, only three days in a row of a stream. I take a 12 hour nap in between and all I do is talk about how, how shitty Kirby Air Ride is. Because I can't fucking beat it, so I hate it. <laughs> welcome, welcome back. <laughs> I was going to say, welcome back to Peanut Butter Gamer. I was like, wait, no, no, no. No, 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 no. That's, that's an actual person. <laughs> Sorry, Peanut Butter Gamer. I didn't mean to make fun of you. These old Zelda dungeons are hard. I agree, especially with Zelda 1 stuff. Look at that, right as, <laughs> right as we're talking about dungeon difficulty, I fucking blindly matrix dodge all of the fucking bullets at once. Holy shit. That was nice. The blue heart ring is very useful so far. Yeah, that was, that was kind of bonkers right there. Holy shit. Especially Zelda 1. One of these days, I, I hate to promise it, I hate to say it even, but I am going to promise it to you guys. I will play Zelda 2 all the way on stream. But boy, am I not fucking looking forward to that, because it, it's, it's really just going to devolve into this. Bren gets extremely far in the game after dying a shitload of times, and then Bren gets to a part where the boss is just ridiculous over dick mega hard. Or a mid boss is me mega dick over hard, or doing one part to another part is just mega dick over hard, or the final boss is maximum over hard, and it, I, it's just me save stating over and over. That's how I'm gonna finish Zelda 2. Again, prophetic moment, except this time I don't even need to peek into the matrix. Look at the, the timeline, world lines, time travel logic at all. Because I know, with absolute certainty, that's how it's gonna end. I'm gonna have to fucking save state non-stop for some segment of it. The big Ice Octo and Minish was so annoying. G good. I'm glad somebody agrees. You know, was it horrible, but... It took me quite a few attempts to finally figure out what the fuck I have to do to kill it. And then on top of that, it was just a piece of shit. It's such a piece of shit, boss really likes to fuck with you a little bit. You hate Zelda 2? <laughs> I'm pretty sure everybody hates Zelda 2. Although we were talking about Vine Sauce Vinny earlier. I think he did say Zelda 2 is one of his favorites, which... Uh, that's uh, glutton for punishment territory right there. He likes getting the cock and ball torture. There you go, there's a Vine Sauce reference. Pulled out the fucking CBT joke. Stay away from me, Wizrobe. Do a Skyward Sword playthrough? Sadly, I, like, just a couple of months ago sold my Nintendo Wii. Forget even why. Uh, it was to buy something. It, it was for some monetary reason, of course, that I sold it. Something money-related or other. But, uh... I mean, I guess I could emulate it. It's just... Skyward Sword is extremely motion controls heavy. Even more so than Twilight Princess Wii. Which, I've played both the GameCube and the Wii version. Uh, you know, I don't have like a stark preference or anything, but... I did thoroughly enjoy Twilight Princess way more than Skyward Sword, that's for sure. We've probably talked about this ad nauseum, but... Bro, I fucking love Zelda. I did a fucking... Not even the Legend of Zelda Wind Waker randomizer. I did a Legend of Goku Wind Waker randomizer. That's how much I fucking love Zelda, dude. That I <laughs> went out of my way to make a specific, like, format for my custom character that I had in randomizer. Of course, you know, as for every uh, VOD thumbnail, I'm making custom art. But w with the Legend of Goku, it was extra custom, dude. I spent quite a few hours on some of those. Yeah! 
It's boss time, baby. I I could definitely see mm, maybe even randomizer, but uh, just Twilight Princess at some point in the future. Again, uh, the biggest concern is just frame rate. I really don't want it to look real chunky. Campbell's chunky soup. At least on the YouTube vod, Twitch Twitch audience. I'm sorry, but you know sometimes you do have to put up with some shit. Unfortunately, and I thank you so much for it. <laughs> but again, you know, with Twitch, little hiccups are expected sometimes. With YouTube, it's like the absolute of quality is demanded. It's almost uh, heretical that I don't upload 1080p, that I'm still doing 720p, both on Twitch and YouTube, but that's neither here nor there. What My main point is, uh, you know... It, definitely keep an eye out for it. Aside from Fantasy Star, like I said, another GameCube game that we're definitely checking out at some point in the near future, probably after SMT is done. Um, Evolution 1 and 2. The GameCube version is both games combined, so uh, we're definitely going to be doing the full playthrough of Evolution. And then, uh, yeah, m maybe keep an eye out for... Twilight Princess, dude. I paid full price for that game when I could have gotten it on discount, and holy shit, like... Even to this day, as a 28-year-old man, fully grown adult man, I'm still like... Fuck. Fuck. Shitty, dumbass little fucking adolescent kid looking ass dumbass. What? You could have spent... you. Save your money, you little fucking idiot! You could have bought it used. What are you? What are you thinking, you fucking little dumbass? <laughs> I do remember though. I, I kind of got my karma on that. Um, because when it came to getting Skyward Sword, no, 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 no. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, wait, what am I? No, what am I thinking of? It's a choo choo. <laughs> It, is it? It kind of did look like it. I don't know. I, I died. So, again, what? Excuse me? This puzzle's randomly generated every time? And I just got it right that many times in a row, huh? Okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay. Sure, just give me HP. And remember that 23 is number one. <laughs> How do I keep getting it wrong now? <laughs> I don't, again, I just don't even remember what tangent I was going on now, because the game is now relentlessly thunder-fucking me again. Yeah, I could even just Chad Thunderfuck. Oh, yeah, so... I, I would crush cans a lot because my parents were very stingy for some reason. They wouldn't give me an allowance unless it was a very specific set of tasks. So... Washing the dishes or some shit like that? No. That ain't gonna get me any money out of them. Mowing the lawn? Maybe. Like five, ten bucks. Maybe. Shoveling a shitload of snow? No. No. That's required. It could be, you know, even like chipping up ice with an iron shovel off of the driveway. No. Nope. That's expected. Uh. However... Shredding old documents for their business that was one of those like few tasks that they would pay me for So that I always look forward to and that was some decent money. I guess like for back then I think they paid me ten bucks an hour. I think was the price I Could be wrong about the actual price that I was paid, but you know, it's it's your parents paying you for a part-time job basically at that point if, if your parents have a, a business and you're doing work for their business, then yeah. <laughs> but, um... I would shred documents, you know, expired legal documents. Ones that are supposed to be shredded and disposed of, basically. And they'd pay me, I think, was ten bucks an hour, but... You know, I recall my stepdad saying, you know, this was... Money that... Even a job I would get at that age wouldn't pay me, so... Probably higher than seven twenty-five. that's for sure. Aside from that, the only other source of income I had for so long was crushing soda cans. And of course, I was a little kid addicted to soda for so many years. 
So a lot of my games, soda cans. A lot of fucking games came from car crushing cans, dude. I mean, I couldn't tell you how many fucking sodas I drank as a kid. And I've talked about this earlier, I drink a lot of uh, sugar-free shit now. I have an Arizona iced tea right now, but that's neither here nor there once again. Oh, I couldn't tell you how many fucking sodas I've drank. And how many fucking cans I've crushed. So that leads into another tangent, but I'll finish the first one first. Neither here nor there, that aside, going in fucking circles with everything. And yeah, it is a choo-choo, goddammit. I think it really is a choo-choo with plants on it. What the fuck? I paid $50. I think it was slightly on discount. And back then games were 60 bucks. Which, uh, most games still are 60 bucks brand new. But I think Sony and Microsoft are doing that insane thing. Where it's like $79.99 for a base level, entry level, no DLC included, brand new game. So, you know, 50 bucks is kind of a steal in comparison. I think I'm literally gonna die here again. That's why I'm quick saving. Ugh! What? I'm a ninja! Oh! I'm the Hokage of the Hidden Leaf! Damn, so many stories, lol! That money, the 50 bucks that I spent at, I think it was like Target or Walmart, on Twilight Princess, 100% of that $50 came from crushing cans. 100% dude! I don't know how many fucking soda cans that is, but it's like, <laughs> we would go to the junkyard and sell it by weight. I'd crush up soda cans. Shit I've drank, shit my parents have drank, shit my siblings drank, etc. I just like go to the garage to crush them occasionally as a chore for myself. I think we had a can crusher in the garage, or maybe in the kitchen or something. I'm just doing this because I refuse to keep running back to the boss. Uh, deal with it. If you want me to play it legit, fucking deal with it! Talk to Bren five years later from now. Whenever I play this game again, probably. Because I'm like that, I'll probably play this again. W watch me discover a fucking randomizer of this or some shit. Uh, same thing though, uh, so fast forward, I said there was another tangent I wanted to get on. Alright, we did some damage, so I'm gonna save state again. It doesn't have to be legit for me to be satisfied, and that's all I care about. God, I'm, I'm, I'm getting satisfied by this stream. Fuck yeah, bro. Oh, that satisfies me. <laughs> so, I had saved up $40 from crushing cans. And I bought Sims 2 for the Nintendo GameCube. So I had previously bought Animal Crossing. I think it was 20 bucks, But it was Animal Crossing and it came with a decently large memory card. So, at some point, I think after mowing the lawn a couple of times for my parents, uh, and mowing the lawn for our back, uh, backyard neighbor as well, I told you guys about this guy, this guy in some story as well. The, the knife Star Wars Clone Wars story. God, this is so many stories. Um, I had mowed the lawn a couple of times, earned like 20 bucks, and bought one of those shitty Mad Cats memory cards for the GameCube. It was like 128 megabytes or something. And I swear to you, I think it was because its capacity was too large. It would corrupt the data on the memory card fucking constantly! It's like, you could only play certain games. Otherwise, other games would always, always, without fail, corrupt the memory card. So... It was, it had come to this point where I'd saved up $40 after buying this uh, high expansion card, memory card, basically. It was Choo Choo! Bro, I feel like we're pogging right now. Oh, that is a pog! Nice. Poor, poor Pat Pog? Oh, poor Parenting 101? <laughs> that name. It's Umbreon Pogging for the YouTube viewers that don't see it. 
So I, uh, again, fast forward, I had saved up this money that basically at this own point, at this point, I was managing my own fucking can crushing company because this was all my surplus. I, we were taking it to the dump, sure. And I was asking my parents for help, but it was all my money. So I'd saved up 40 bucks after doing 20 bucks worth of chores. And in my, like, you know, 13, 14 year old mind, that was a lot of money and a lot of time. We go to GameStop, I buy The Sims 2. It requires 64 megabytes. The memory card that's included with Animal Crossing is 64 megabytes. Animal Crossing with all save data included, that's like 63 megabytes. So it's a decision between, oh, well I have the standard memory card that comes with the GameCube, because I got like the 300, 399 edition or whatever. So I had like a small memory card with some important saves. And then I had the Animal Crossing memory card with all my Animal Crossing shit. Because I was obsessed with Animal Crossing. And then I had the 128 megabyte brick memory card that had like Metal Gear Solid on it. Ah, so I see you've been playing Evolution. The one that would constantly brick. And it had reached this point where... Hello. Adolescent teenage boy. Congratulations, you spent $40 on The Sims 2. Your parents are pissed off that you crush soda cans to buy video games. Guess what? Sims 2 requires 64 megabytes. Do you dare install it onto your memory card that's probably gonna brick? That is kinda in a cat's, cat's cradle situation right now. Because it has a shitload of other game saves on it, even though it shouldn't, because it's probably going to brick in five minutes. But do you dare put it on this one, or do you go out and get a genuine, not Mad Cat's memory card after crushing cans for another $20? So I remember, like, actually literally crying to my parents, because adolescent teenage Bren, Sims 2 on GameCube. You literally cannot play it without making a save file. So we took it back at like n almost 9 p.m. After getting pizza and stuff, like celebrating all my hard work that I put into getting a new game. I couldn't even fucking play it. And imagine being in the year 2004 or some shit. Hey, parent. I can't play $40 game that I just bought with can money that took me three months to get because it requires a memory card which I do not have. And you parent who does not understand computer very well probably think this is demon technology? Ah. God damn it, Brendan. Didn't you just buy game yesterday? Yes, parent. Yes, computerized parent. But, computer. Ah, yes, but parent. It is the age of computers, the year 2000. I understand computer better than you. Therefore, you have inferiority complex. And you are also pissed off because it's pizza time and 9 p.m. and time to drink liquor. And you don't want to drunk drive back to GameStop. So I... <laughs> I, I genuinely don't think my parents drunk drove, but... The, the moral of the story was we went back, my parents were angry as fuck after I explained all of this shit to them. And we returned Sims 2 for God knows what. I don't know what the fuck I bought. <sighs> Moral of the story is, get, get the expansion pack. You got the blowing wind, the essence of nature. <laughs> Sweet fruit is born when pollen is carried by the blowing wind. Wow, that whole bit, dude. That whole bit, dude. That is definitely the legend of 999 rupees level 2, if I've ever seen one. Holy shit. Holy fuck. I'm going pooper saying 999 level 2. Level Poo. Say, Link, the blowing wind reaches me, too. I dreamt of a cemetery west of Horan Village. 
Could an essence lie there? To get there, find a way across the sea. <sighs> Did you hear that? That was a sigh of relief. The blowing wind, wind-blown pollen, produces fruit. So we have two more essences of season. And honestly, dude, I am like completely overwhelmed. That whole dungeon... I mean, it's a bit aside me like, you know, rambling and doing Zelda shit. This right here is a gem of a dungeon. Even the fact that I'm kind of playing semi-blind, it's my first time playing through and I saw Fine Sauce Vinny play it years ago even though I deleted my memory of it. And I'm wa using a guide walkthrough from fucking IGN or something or no, it's Zelda Dungeon. This one right here was a genuine, bona fide, boner hiding Zelda Dungeon, dude. When you gotta hide your boner in the strap of your pants in math class and you gotta go up to the the whiteboard and do a math problem that was a genuine bona fide Zelda dungeon right there I thoroughly enjoyed that and I think holy fuck I'm just so immensely overwhelmed telling all those stories and also just getting past that it's time to save and quit <laughs> so uh, yeah hey thanks for listening to me talk about all this crazy shit Talking about going Super Saiyan, su Pooper Saiyan Poo, as Dude Nudum for anal. And like I said, I mean, that's gonna do it for the YouTube viewer, but Twitch viewers, stick around. We're gonna be doing some more stream with Shin Megami Tensei in a little bit. Yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. More seasons. Like I said, two more major essences, so that means two more major dungeons, probably a third final dungeon, and then... There is another spoiler that I know from Vinny, maybe even from Joel. I don't, I don't fucking know who I've watched play this at this point. <laughs> I just barely remember it as is what I've seen. And like I said, this is my first time playing through it myself. Fuck, I don't know. But you fight a giant giga fuck mega huge dragon at the end of this. So uh, I don't know if there's like a final final dungeon. Maybe there's two dungeons. Maybe there's three. Maybe there's four, and then there's the dragon, I don't know. But there's a mega huge gigafuck dragon right at the end. Anyway, again, thank you very much for stopping by, watching me play some Zelda Oracle of Seasons for my very first playthrough ever. If you're watching on Twitch, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and include the social media links for you to click on. You know, go ahead and follow the Twitch channel if you will, please. Go subscribe to the VOD Archive YouTube channel. Go subscribe to the Edited Videos YouTube channel. Come join the community the Discord and go follow the Twitter. And uh, yeah, if you can't see those links that I'm talking about posted in the Twitch chat, you can find those same links over on the About section of Twitch on my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash qbren. At least that's what it's called right now. Maybe I'm coming for Bren himself. Not me, but... Uh, there's another guy on Twitch named Bren. Maybe I just steal his username. I'm gonna fucking hack him. <laughs> no, I'm not. <laughs> as much as I'd love to have his username, <laughs> he's probably too busy to give me his username. Anyway, yeah, if, if uh, you can't see the links that I'm talking about on Twitch, click the About section on Twitch. You'll find those same links over there. Or if you're watching from YouTube, you know, click the About section on YouTube on either YouTube channel. And if you're watching from somewhere else, hey, hello from uh, Yuku, or Nico Video, or uh, Vimeo, Daily Motion, wherever you're watching from. <laughs> hey, I hope you enjoyed. And uh, again, thank you very much for enjoying this with me, stopping by, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.